Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica, and welcome to Learning English with Jessica. In this video, we're going to listen and practice our English through many different conversations. You can play it again repeatedly while engaging in other activities to help your brain memorize the language. Be patient, and you will swiftly improve your speaking and listening skills. Now, let's jump right into the video. I have to clean the floor today. Hi, Bob. What are you up to? Oh, I have to clean the floor today. Why? Yesterday, I was making spaghetti and meatballs, and I spilled the sauce all over the floor. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a disaster. That's awful. How are you going to clean it up? Well, I'll use a sponge and some soap. The sauce was too thick and sticky. That sounds like a lot of work. Yes. By the way, do you want to come over for dinner? Sure. What are you making? Spaghetti and meatballs. What? Are you kidding me? Haven't you learned your lesson? Well, this time I'll be more careful. Trust me. Okay, but if you spill it again, I won't be helping you. Deal. The sun rises in the east. Hey, Lisa. I want to watch the sun rise. The sun rise? Why do you want to watch the sun rise? Because it's beautiful. And it makes me feel happy. Really? How does it make you feel happy? Well, it reminds me of the start of a new day and a new adventure. That's nice. I never thought of it that way. You should try it sometime. It's amazing. Okay. Where can we watch the sunrise? Well, we can watch it from a clear view of the horizon. And which direction should we look? We should look at the east, of course. The east? Because the sun rises in the east every day. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I haven't eaten yet today. Hi, Jill. How are you today? I'm good. How about you? I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet today. What? That's crazy. I know, right? But I had a good reason. What was it? I was trying to lose some weight. And how did that go? Not so well. I ended up eating a whole cake. Tell me. Well, I was walking by a bakery. I saw this delicious chocolate cake in the window. I went inside and ate the whole cake. Well, maybe you should try something else to lose weight. Like what? Exercise and eat healthy food. <laughs> maybe you're right. But can we go get some pizza first? Are you serious? Yeah, that was dessert. Now I need some lunch. OMG, you're unbelievable. A hot potato. Hey, Anna, are you ready for the camping trip? Yes, I love camping. Me too. It's going to be awesome. We're going to hike, fish, swim, and roast marshmallows. That sounds fun. What are we going to eat? I brought some hot dogs, burgers, and potatoes. Potatoes? What are we going to do with potatoes? We'll play a game called Hot Potato. Hot Potato? Isn't it a phrase that means a difficult issue that no one wants to deal with? Correct. But it's also a game where you heat up a potato and then quickly toss it to someone else. The last person who holds the potato loses. That sounds silly, Max. No, it's fun. You'll love it. 
Okay, as long as I have my french fries. Easy peasy, hot potato is ready to serve you. I've got a splitting headache. Mom, I learned a new word today. It's called onomatopoeia. Do you know what it means? No, honey, I don't. Why don't you tell me? Well, it's a word that sounds like the thing it describes. Like the sound of the bee, buzz. Or the sound when I drop something in the water, splash. Isn't that cool? That's very cool, dear. But can you please lower your voice? I've got a splitting headache. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Do you want me to get you some medicine? No, thank you. I just need some rest. Mom, can I ask you one more thing? What is it, dear? Can you give me an example of an onomatopoeia? Hmm, how about... to cut someone some slack. Hey Luke, you haven't submitted your report. The deadline is tomorrow. I'm sorry, Amy. My dog is at the vet and I have to take care of him. Oh no, what happened to your dog? He got stung by some bees in the park. It's been a very stressful time for me and my family. Listen, Luke, I'm going to cut you some slack. You'll have three extra days for your part, okay? Yes, thank you for treating me nicely. No problem. I hope your dog gets better soon. There is an important campaign next week. Hey, Emily, are you ready for the big day? What big day? There is an important campaign next week. Don't you remember? Oh, right. What is it about again? It's about raising awareness and funds for the endangered pandas. We have to wear black and white outfits, hand out flyers, and collect donations. That sounds fun. And noble. Yeah, it's a great cause. And we get to dress up like pandas. How cute is that? Very cute, but I have a question. What is it? Do we have to eat bamboo, too? <laughs> no, Emily, that's optional. I've read some of your previous articles. Hi, I'm Leo. I'm a fan of your blog. You rock. Hi. Thanks for the compliment. I'm happy you like my blog. What's your favorite article? I've read some of your previous articles. I love the one with Taylor Swift. You interviewed her and she sang for you. How cool is that? Very cool. She was nice and funny. Awesome. I've read your other articles too. You have cool stories and opinions. Thanks. I read about things that matter to me and my readers. Yes. Can I ask you something? Sure. What is it? Can you write about me? <laughs> Maybe someday. Hook, line, and sinker. What an amazing play. I loved the plot twist at the end. Me too. It was so surprising how the guy turned out to be a con artist. True, he made her believe he was a prince in disguise. And she fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. What does that mean? It's a phrase that means to be completely deceived by something or someone. It comes from fishing, where a fish might swallow the hook, the line, and the sinker if it is too naive. Oh, I see. So the girl was like a fish who swallowed the bait. Exactly. Don't believe everything you hear, and don't fall for hook, line, and sinker. Give it a whirl. J. 
Jen, do you want to play this game? It's called Space Invaders. What is it about? You have to shoot aliens. It's fun. I'm bad at games. Just give it a whirl. You might like it. Give it a whirl. It means to try something new, like learning how to play guitar or watching a movie. Oh, so you want me to try this game? Yes, you never know until you try. Fine, I'll give it a whirl, but don't laugh at me. Ha ha ha, I won't. My parents are coming to visit next weekend. Hi, Bob. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm fine, too. Just busy with work, studying and stuff. Yeah, work has been crazy lately. By the way, do you have any plans for next weekend? Well, actually, I do. My parents are coming to visit next weekend. Oh, really? That's nice. How long are they staying? They're staying for a week. They want to see the city and spend some time with me. Great. Are you excited to see them? Of course I am. I haven't seen them in a while. I understand. I'm sure they miss you a lot. Yeah, they do. And I miss them too. You'll never believe this. Hi, Lily. How are you? Hi, Lisa. I'm good. How about you? Me too. Just busy with school and work. Same here. What are you studying now? I'm majoring in education. I find it very interesting. Really? Me too. What a coincidence. Wow, that's amazing. We have so much in common. I know, right? You'll never believe this, but I also work at the same bakery as you. No way! That's incredible! How did that happen? Well, I saw your post on social media about how much you love your job. So I decided to apply and they hired me. That's awesome! I'm so glad we work together now. Me too. We can catch up more often and share our experiences. Yes, let's do that. At the drop of a hat. Hi, Jane. How are you doing? Not so good, Alex. I just got fired from my job. Oh, no. What happened? Well, you know how my boss is very strict and demanding, right? Yeah, I've heard he's a tough cookie. He is. He expects us to work overtime every day to meet unrealistic deadlines. And he can fire anyone at the drop of a hat. At the drop of a hat? Yeah, he doesn't care about our feelings or rights. He just does whatever he wants. That's terrible. I'm glad I'm out of there, but I'm also worrying about finding a new job. Don't worry, Jean. You have many skills and talents. I'm sure you'll find something better soon. Thanks. There are many kinds of pollution. Hey, Jack, did you finish the homework for science class? Yeah, I did. It was about environmental issues, right? Yeah, that's right. What did you write about? I wrote about air pollution and its effects. Oh, that sounds interesting. I wrote about water pollution and how it affects marine life and ecosystems. Cool. You know, there are many kinds of pollution, not just air and water. Yeah, I know. They all have negative impacts on our planet and ourselves. Yeah, it's really sad. We should do something to reduce pollution and protect the environment. I agree. 
Maybe we can start by using less plastic, saving energy, recycling, and so on. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Take it a miss. Kyle, are you excited to go to the beach for summer vacation? Yes, Dad. I can't wait to swim and play in the sand. Yeah, it's been a long time since we had some fun in the sun. I'm glad we're going together. Me too, son. But do you know, Mom got mad at you for leaving your socks on the floor. I told her I could clean it up later. It's not very nice of you to make a mess in the house. So you shouldn't take it amiss when she scolds you. Yeah, I understand. I should apologize and try to be more tidy. Good boy. Sell like hotcakes. Hey, Lily, how's your new job at the bakery? It's great. I love working with fresh bread and pastries. They smell so good. I bet they do. Do you get to eat any of them? Sometimes, but not too often. They sell like hotcakes, so there's not much left at the end of the day. Ah, uh, I see. I'm happy for you. I love cakes there. Really? Did you try the newest cupcake? It is amazing. I haven't had a chance to try it. Maybe next time. Sure. Let me know when you can come. I will keep one box for you. That's awesome. You're such a good friend. Thanks, Lisa. Bone to pick. David, can you help me with the dishes? Sure, Bay. Thanks, dear. You're welcome, love. David, can I talk to you about something? Of course. What is it? Well, I have a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why do you look so serious? Well, you know how you always leave your hair in the shower drain? Oh, yes. It may clog the drain and make the water run slowly. It also makes the shower look dirty and unhygienic. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. It does. I will clean it up right now. I don't want to upset you or make you unhappy. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. I was just thinking about giving you a call. Oh, Phoebe, my dear, how nice to see you. Come in, come in. Hi, Grandpa. I brought you some cookies. How sweet of you. You're such a thoughtful girl. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing fine, too. Just enjoying my retirement and reading some books. That's good to hear. You look great, Grandpa. Thank you, Phoebe. You know, I was just thinking about giving you a call. Really? But why? Well, I wanted to ask you how your studies are going. Are you still majoring in psychology? Yes, I am. I find it very fascinating and rewarding. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very proud of you and your achievements. Thank you, Grandpa. I guess a thunderstorm is on its way. Mom, can we go to the park today? I'm sorry, honey. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not, Mom? It's a nice day outside. 
Well, not for long. Look at the sky. It's getting dark and cloudy. Oh, yeah, you're right. It looks like it's going to rain soon. Yes, and not just rain. Do you hear that? Hear what, Mom? That rumbling sound. It's thunder. Oh, wow, it is thunder. That's scary. Don't worry, honey. It's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, I guess a thunderstorm is on its way then. Yes, it seems so. Let's go inside and watch a movie instead. Okay, Mom. That sounds fun, too. Good boy. It's not rocket science. Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Hi, Chris. I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. What are you up to? I'm just studying for the test tomorrow. Oh, what test is that? It's a history test. We have to memorize all of these dates and names and events. Oh, I see. I'm having a hard time remembering everything. Well, don't worry too much. It's not rocket science. No, it's not. It's history. History is interesting and important. Yes, it is, but it's also dull sometimes. But I find history exciting and relevant. It tells us where we came from and how we got here. Well, maybe you're right. You inspire me. Hi! How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I just finished a workout session. That's great. You look fit and healthy. What kind of workouts do you do? I do yoga and Pilates. They help me relax and strengthen my body and mind. That's awesome. You inspire me. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. You're very fit and energetic yourself. How long have you been doing yoga and Pilates? I've been doing them for about a year now. They have changed my life for the better. That's wonderful. How did you discover yoga and Pilates? I discovered them through a friend who invited me to join her class. I gave it a try and loved it. That's cool. Burn the midnight oil tonight. David, it's time for bed. You have school tomorrow. Mom, I can't go to bed yet. I have a big project due tomorrow and I haven't finished it. What? When did you start working on it? Well, I started working on it yesterday, but I got distracted by some video games and YouTube videos. David, you should have planned your time better. I know, I know. I'm sorry, Mom, but I can't help it now. I have to finish this project or I'll fail the class. How much more do you have to do? A lot. I have to write a report and make a presentation. That's a lot of work. How long do you think it will take you? I don't know. Maybe a few hours. Well, then you'll have to burn the midnight oil tonight. I understand. But don't let this happen again, okay? I promise. Good night, Mom. I can't go out tonight. Hey, Anne, are you ready for our movie night? Hi, Jack. I'm sorry, but I can't go out tonight. What? Why not? What happened? I'm feeling sick. I have a fever and a sore throat. I think I caught a cold. Oh no, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. How do you feel? I feel awful. I can barely get out of bed. I just want to sleep and drink some tea. That's understandable. You should rest and take care of yourself. Do you need anything? Can I help you in any way? 
Thanks, Jack. You're very sweet, but I think I'm fine. I just need some time to recover. Okay, okay. But if you need anything, just let me know, okay? I'm here for you. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. You're a good friend. You're welcome, Anne. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks, Jack. Me too. Good night. Good night, Anne. Get well soon. It was on the house. Hey, Max. How was your day? It was great. I had a delicious meal. Oh, really? What did you have? I had a steak with mashed potatoes and salad. And guess what? Why? It was on the house. No way. How? Well... The owner of the restaurant recognized me from my blog. He said he was a fan of my writing and wanted to thank me for promoting his place. Wow, that's awesome. You're so lucky. I know, right? It was very generous of him. I left him a big tip and a positive review online. Good for you. Maybe I should start a blog, too. At the eleventh hour. Hi, Tina. Did you book the flight for our trip? Hi, Sam. Yes, I did. Great. When are we leaving? We're leaving tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? That's so soon. When did you book the flight? Last night. Well, I had to search a lot and compare a lot of prices. I had to book it at the 11th hour. Why did you wait so long? You should have booked it earlier. I know, I know. But I was busy with work and family. I didn't have time to plan ahead of time. Tina, that's risky. You could have missed the flight or paid a lot more. You should have made time and booked it sooner. I know, I know. But it's okay. I found a good deal and everything worked out fine. Well, I'm glad you did, but don't do that again, okay? You should book things in advance and avoid stress. Okay, okay, I will. Thanks for your advice. You're welcome. I'm excited about our trip. Me too. It's going to be fun. I really want to go to the beach. Alex, do you want to go to the beach with me? No, I don't. I hate the beach. You do? Why? Because it's hot, dirty, salty, and windy. I hate everything about the beach. Oh, I love the beach. I really want to go to the beach. Well, I don't. Can we do something else? Like what? Like going to the movies, or bowling, or ice skating. Those are fun, but not as fun as the beach. Well, for me they are. Can we compromise? Okay, how about the movies on Saturday and the beach on Sunday? Fine, but no swimming or surfing or volleyball or sandcastles. Fine, but no complaining or whining or moaning or groaning. Deal deal. I'm so happy for you. Hi, Mia. I heard the news. Congratulations. Hi, Leo. Thank you. What news are you talking about? You're the new manager of the sales department. Oh, yes. That news. Thank you. I'm very excited. You should be. You deserve it. You've worked hard and done a great job. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. You're a great co-worker and friend. You're very kind. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here for you anytime. So, are you ready for the meeting? Yes, I am. Let's go. Okay, let's go. No problem. And congratulations again.
What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Hi, Alex. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Hi, Jane. I like to read, watch, play, and listen. You? Me too. What kind of things do you read and listen to? I like reading fantasy, sci-fi, action, and comedy books. I also like listening to rock and jazz. You? Same here. We have a lot in common. Any favorites you can recommend to me? Sure, I can recommend you some. Look at my playlist. Cool. Yours are perfect. Then I can recommend you some, too. Okay, let's do that. On the spot. Hi, Chris. Are you auditioning for the play? Hi, Peter. Yes, I am. Have you prepared your own monologue? Yes, I have. How do you feel? I prepared it well, but I'm nervous, though. What if they don't like us? What if they put us on the spot? Don't worry. We'll be fine. Just be ourselves and have fun. And if they put us on the spot, just improvise. That sounds hard. What if we mess up or freeze up? We won't. Trust me. We're confident and spontaneous. We can handle anything on the spot. Thanks, Peter. You're a good friend. You too. And good luck. Sell like hotcakes. Hi, Chris. How's business? Hi, Peter. It's great. I'm selling a lot of products. Really? What kind of products are you selling? I'm selling these new wireless earbuds. They're amazing. They have great sound quality, long battery life, and a sleek design. Wow, they sound awesome. How much are they? They're only $19.99. That's a great price. Where do you get them from? I get them from this online supplier. They ship fast and also offer a money-back guarantee and a warranty. That's impressive. How many have you sold so far? I've sold over 200 in the past month. They sell like hotcakes. That's amazing. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.